dragonfly leads me, stirring new and bright visions in iridescence. Iridescence, man, do you ever see that color flashing off a dragonfly? Wow. Yeah, well, here I am in the valley. Beautiful. Pure air. Loving human beings. And dragonflies. Yeah. Yeah. Peacefulness. Peacefulness. Leads me. Yeah. And it leads me now. Now that I've been in the same bed for a few nights. To the I Ching, the Oracle, the I Ching for the week of July 29th, 2019. Number 35, Jin flourishing. Above is Li, radiance and fire, and below is Kun, the center of the earth, that on which everything rests. The wisdom this week, great progress is on the horizon. Move into receptive stillness. You know what I'm talking about. Bring tribe and family together to serve together. Know this, that light that is not shared will grow dim. Yeah, yeah, we got to be help share our bounty. You know, even if you feel happy, share a laugh. Uh, smile at somebody on the street. But share it. Well, here we are. There's a big calling now out to us. All, all sentient beings are being called. You know, when I write that, I feel like uh, the conductor in the station saying, come on board. All sentient beings, get on board. We're being called at this meeting of time and space to make a choice, to be at your best, and to unfold individual fullness. This can be your finest hour where greatness and peace of mind are simply a choice. In times like this, you may feel that your movement forward is thwarted in some ways. And that happens, man. You come up, you doubt things, you know. But right now is a time to have a plan of action. Create a workable plan of action. You know, like we say, the universe responds to a plan. No plan, usually no completion. When your plan is well considered, you will be aided by a powerful force of unseen helpers. It's them again. <laughs> In this group of silent beings, the ones that have brought you to this evolutionary plateau. If you've not as yet made contact with this force, not hard. Come to stillness and listen. Once your well-conceived plan is formed, wise words of correct procedure will be there for you. Let me spell it out. You know that you got to do something and you're confused. Which way do I turn? Oh, what what door do I open? Who do I trust? Yeah, that's a big one. But just come to do your plan and then come to stillness and trust your intuition will pave the way. And when it comes, be, strive in your life for fairness. Be fair in places and activities where you hold power, where you hold influence, and we all do in our life have certain powers, certain influence. And the important thing now, look, look let me explain something. Uh, everything that we get from the I Ching, from the Oracle, they're part of the formula to achieve our goal, right? What is our goal here? Our goal is, well, basically our goal is for happiness and love. So in this particular Gua, we're being given all the uh, ingredients, right? So. Strive for fairness in places and activities where you hold power or influence. Honor those who work with you or for you. Hey, that's a big one. Or if you're solo in your career, honor the dancing spirit who comes as a muse to enliven, tease, and tickle your fancy. Hey, you know what? If you've got a muse in your life, recognize him, her. 
and uh, they, and open up to it, you know, let it happen and be grateful. This spirit is there, so you will make a relationship with this spirit, and it will soothe you, and it will bring you benefit to mind and to heart. This is a potent time of advancement. The benefit now is not to forget how you got here and who has your support. Recognize and give honor to the ones who have blazed the trail before you. You know, the ones who have taken that machete and knocked a place for you to walk comfortably through the forest. Be confident that you are gaining an abundance of power, of influence, of love and prosperity. And when it comes, which it will, share it with your mentors, with your tribe, with your family. And in this way, you're signifying gratitude. And you're not being influenced or distracted by ego. Ego. Egads. Ego. Honor your mentors and your guides. Give them praise and give them honor. In this way, you're operating in the fullness of gratitude. Gratitude is catalytic in the alchemical mixture that delivers sentient beings from doubt, delivers sentient beings from fear and from darkness. Darkness of thoughts, darkness of being. Coming mercifully into your life now is a very clear and powerful energetic force. It's like a currency of sorts. So if you're looking at it that way, spend your currency wisely. You know, Don't give it all up in one place, but use it and use it to, to pave the way and, and to be guided by compassion as you examine patterns of behavior that are no longer useful. And see the patterns that you've gotten locked in, but they no longer reflect who you have become, right? As we change, we can do things, but it's coming from a whole other part of our being. So really feel this advancement you've made, and that's where your behavior comes from, who you are now. It is now of great benefit to identify actions and people that no longer serve your highest good. With grace and compassion, release the ones that don't work with you for you. Release the patterns and do it in ceremony. Do it in ritual. It's the way. It's the ancient way. You know, and make you can make ritual up. You can, you know, have it be whatever you want it to be. Or look to the ancients and look to what's been around. But do ceremony and do ritual. Replace outworn negative patterns with positive actions, thoughts, and prayers. The words you think are more powerful than the words you say. Correct the words of the inner voice when it speaks negatively, when it's hurtful, or it seeks revenge. Ooh, careful of that one. Here you achieve inner stillness. And that's crucial right now because it's in stillness where we hear and we're enlivened by intuitive wisdom. Consider your practice, whether it's meditation, writing, painting, hiking, tilling a garden, any activity that gets you out of your mind and free from the voice of judgment. What is being presented to you now is fresh and it's new, and it's imbuing you with confidence and with strength. To gain and embody power such as this can be a tricky thing. In light of correct behavior and thinking, you're going to be called to make sacrifice. Make sacrifice. Let go of old habits. Sacrifice them. Let go of friends or associates who've turned their back on you or beginning to decompose and have a virtual or a real bad smell. You know, sometimes really your, your, your sense of smell will tell you things. Give proportions of your abundance, give portions of abundance to those who need it and speak up on behalf of those who are powerless. Your abundance will also be expressed in words of kindness that you gift along the way. You may choose to gift material goods, clothing, books, you know, things that have served you and you, even you hold them close, give them away. Join with community and tribe, have an open heart, and an open door in fact and metaphor. Trust this, that you are in the right place at the right time. 
have no doubt about it. Accept fully that you've come to the right place at the right time. You see, it's sacred space where strength and compassion influences can be activated. Moving in this manner with humility will please spirit and will open doors that have previously been closed and unseen. By adhering to the mapping of the Oracle's wisdom's beneficial guidance will be with you, watching and assisting you in finding direction. Once you are lost, now you are found, right? Amazing grace. The joyous dancing spirit has led you out of darkness and into the light, have no doubt. Right now, this flourishing bloom of contentment and abundance is the emotional alchemical mix opening a bountiful journey for you, for family, for tribe, for community. Be aware that on this road less traveled, you will be met by difficulties and obstacles. Look, it's, this is the natural order of growth, of spiritual growth, emotional growth, financial growth, all of it. If, you, if you're in, the, in it, you're going to be met with challenges. And note well, it is progress itself that breeds these challenges. And they, you will benefit by meeting them head on. No fear, no blame. You can't avoid it. Don't run away from it. Because we get... I hate to put it this way. We get lessons along the way, all this thing about lessons, but, but we do. And, and, and when we're met with obstacles, the way that we move around it, through it, over it, under it, whatever it is, it's a way that we learn. So just be certain that out of habit, you're not hiding your truth or you're trying to be reasonable in dealing with angst and challenging situations that arise. You know, don't please, like don't try to please everything and everybody. You know, don't hide that truth. You know, in relationships, you find you just want to please the person to stop the arguments or to stop the angst. It's not the way to do it. To ensure continuing progress, now be grateful. Cherish and be in recognition of the love all around you, for it's there. Remain centered and calm through your practice. Find a place in your life to give back, to be of service. It's an important component. You know, earlier I talked about all the pieces that we're putting into the mix to, to allow you to move into this place of joy, love, and abundance. Well, the, uh, service is one of the um, components. And when you find stillness, you see it more clearly, and it leads you to gain a confidence center. I mean, wouldn't it be wonderful if just everything in this that the one thing it gave you was confidence. And it will. Gratitude for this time, for your gift of life and tribe, that's an elixir that will ensure your clarity of this bizarre adventure of living in a body on earth. Yeah, who thought that up? <laughs> yeah, it's confusing, but it's what we're doing. So let's do it the best that we possibly can, right? Make every moment our shining moment, our best hour. Give yourself a great hour, right? And be perseverant. Seek clarity. And understand that you are now of great influence in your social, your familiar, and your tribal circles. Set goals and work together with your soul sisters, with your soul brothers, to accomplish truthful communication as you move forward to reap well-deserved rewards. This is not the time to be conservative. Operate with abandon socially with your loved ones. Wear the attitude of unconditional love as a magical cloak. Surprise with gifts and honor the ones who've been there for you through the most difficult times. Yeah, blow their minds. Show up. Bring them dinner. <laughs> Pick flowers. Just surprise them. So, you know, it's wonderful to surprise somebody with something wonderful and joyful. It's rare, right? Plan a fiesta. Gather the tribe together for a celebration of life. Be intimate and affectionate to those around you. Don't hold it back. Embrace your brilliance and illuminate the dark corners of the psyche so that this light 
The truth will shine around you like the sun at midday. Look, the soul has both light and darkness, right? <clears throat> you know, Jung said, um, I don't have the quote exactly, but he said, often we're caught in a blind alley where only self-knowledge can extricate us. Usually we're not aware of the situation either, but unless we take a promising bypath, it can lead to trouble lead to death, could lead to problems. So we've got to take these bypaths that are there. And what we find is that as we move along with an open heart and an open mind, that we can look into the beauty around us, the love around us. It's where it says shine like the sun at midday. Just get that picture. You be that shining sun at midday. Open your mind now. Open your heart to the art, to the ideas, and the instructions of the indigenous peoples of your geography and ancestry. Go to them. Listen to the soothing, familiar messages that have remained through the ages. Open your eyes and your ears to feel and to hear the secrets and to see the visions waiting for you. The ancestors, whether you're direct antecedents or not, have left coded messages. They've left them in the great storehouse of knowledge the writings, the songs, the feast for the eyes that have remained in story and sign, messages that have remained for you to discover, embody them, and to have them be signposts for the world's residents, to discover along the road to peace and prosperity for all. The gifts on the path are great. You need only to find stillness of body and mind for them to be shown to you. Through correct actions and ceremony, committed sentient beings can assist spirit, you see. Assist spirit to activate the return of the golden age. As a golden age really does return, right? It's amorphous in some ways, but we see it. We get glimpses of it, you know. So with firm resolve and with dignity, and compassion, all sentient beings can join with Gaia to create peace on earth and goodwill for all. Yeah, that's what this week's about. <clears throat> it's about flourishing and it's about opening and it's about trusting. So as we go through these incredible weather changes, right? The heat, the cold, the melting. We gotta stay on our center and do with just every little thing that we can do to make things better. Don't give up. Just don't give up. Love the ones around you and teach the children well. That's important, you know, as we teach the children well. Mainly just by being who we are, being a good person. That's part of it, you see. That's the part of, of, of teaching by example, by being a good person, by being a whole human being, that's very, 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 very important. That that's how you open up the doors to truly to flourish. So I'm living clo fairly close to New York. I'll be working there in um, October, October 11th, 12th, 13th. I'm going to do a retreat at Menla. Uh, incredible place in Phoenicia, I think it's Phoenicia, New York, and it's beautiful, and so many beautiful things have gone on there. And, you know, His Holiness has visited there and taught there, and many people, so I feel great honor to be invited into that space, and I hope that you'll join me there. Uh, the details will be coming out in the next few weeks about signing up. Um, not there, but I just am so excited, <laughs> I want to talk about it. Uh, and there'll be more things coming up now that I'm really kind of getting rooted in, uh, back in America. I send you as much love as I can possibly muster from here at about the 42nd parallel. Sending my love to my brothers and sisters back in Tulum, where I was for almost nine years. To my brothers and sisters in Los Angeles, now New York and now Hudson Valley. Dear ones, let love surround you. That's my wish for you.
we can do this, you know, by treating each other well. That's, you know, if that's the only thing that we do is we treat each other well, that's big. And that will make changes on earth. So I'm going to take off on this magic carpet. Sending blessings to my sisters, my beautiful goddess sisters, my brothers, my brothers of heroic force and love. Honor each other.